Uh, we're talking about, about Rosh Hashanah's change. And, um, yeah, I just followed the discussion, and uh, it's about, let's say, um, the change, feeling more pain, more, let's say, the pipeline of the work, of the world being this, to feel that we're, let's say, more included in them and that we are doing it for them. But what is really changing? Because I also have the feeling we are doing this for a long time. So what, what actually are we looking for? Is it the change in the deficiency? Is it um, what is specifically, what specifically needs to change in our approach to make it new, to make it feel um, Rosh Hashanah? So what is actually this change? Because we have been disseminating a long time. We have been doing working as a pipeline. So to really understand and to feel what is the change you are pointing out, actually. What is new? What's new is your, in your address to the friends and the world and the Creator. You're in the middle. You need to turn to what is below you and above you. And that, that turn, that, that appeal needs to be new each and every day. And don't tell me we're already doing this for years. If you don't feel that you have a new demand, a new approach, a new request and prayer from every, every day towards the Creator, then you're wasting your time. You're not changing. Your friend wanted to ask. Yeah, yeah Ralph, thank you. Uh, uh, a couple of days ago, we also spoke uh, we, a lot of this nation, sure, but we also spoke about that it is hard for them to hear a message. And if I remember correctly, you also said there will be a time that they will turn their backs uh, on our dissemination. And then we spoke about this drawing force, this Moshech and that Moses broke the tablets. Can you explain, uh, is this relevant to our new state? And what does it mean in our work between us, that we break the plates, the tablets? We need to ask the Creator to have them listen to us. Look at what Moses told the Creator. How will I turn to them? I can't explain to them anything. I'm, I'm stuttering. Moshe. Moshe. Moses. Moses, yeah? Yeah, Mo no, Moses, the, in Egypt. He, he was told, go and talk to the people, and he said, I can't turn to them. How will I explain to them? They won't understand me. They won't hear me. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We are on the level of Moses with respect to the people, meaning the whole of humanity. And we have to explain to them, you can't say, oh, they're ready, they're not ready, they, they're, they listen or not. The Creator prepares them in a way that you have to talk to them. That's it. He sets everything up. The people opposite you, you opposite the people, the people that is the whole of humanity. And you have to do it. And you can't demand anything against it. Oh, it's difficult. Yes, no. You want to do the work? Do it. If not, go go, go free. Then you just... Uh, you, you can seemingly stay in the group and everything, but if you don't accept this as... Uh, in, in forcefully that you have to deliver the message and the method of correction to the world, then you're not following the Creator's orders.